Everybody and welcome to She Shaves with your host Jill. Jill. So I'm excited for tonight's video. I can't wait. I've already used the product and I can't wait to do this shave because I got like five gazillion favorite things I'm using in this shave. Now, if you watched recent videos, you know that I bought a um, Maggard's 24 millimeter. Uh, this is a super high density, uh, not 24 millimeter, did I say that? Now this thing is amazing, 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 amazing. And um, I've asked you guys if, uh, hey, should I uh, use that in, in uh, restore one of my um, uh, EverReady brushes, a C40, or put it in a new um, uh, brush handle? So I made my decision, and how many think that I put it in the C40 Ever Ready to restore it? Raise your hand. Okay, 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 okay. That's the one that had the badger knot that was still working. Okay, let's get a count. Oh, okay, you too. Okay, now how many think that I put the knot into another brush handle that I bought. Raise your hand. Oh, look. Look how many there was. Oh, wow. Wow. Whew. Okay, well, I'm here to reveal what I did with it. Now, can you imagine that that 24 millimeter high density uh, knot uh, two band badger fit in this little tiny box little tiny box well I decided because the C40 is such a short handle that I would buy another handle and put it in that and that's exactly what I've done so um, I started to um, set the knot because a couple of um, um, artisans said use silicone instead of the two-part epoxy, but it just wasn't working for me. So I changed over. I, I, I've always used the two-part epoxy when I set a knot. So I did. I bought a new handle. Look at that ruby red. Is she gorgeous or what? It's got all that fiery red in there. It's got some nice blues. It's got some whites. It's got some yellows in it. And it's a nice handle. So yes, indeed, I did set it in my 24 millimeter ruby red handle. And I like the way it fits in my hand. Now, this knot comes with a 63 millimeter height from the base of the uh, base of it all the way to the tip of it and they suggest setting it at uh, 12 to 15 millimeters deep and that's what I did I um, and this is a fan knot by the way uh, I set mine at 50 millimeters so from here to here is 50 millimeters and I've used this one time only look at how dense Look how dense that is. I mean, look at that. Look how dense that knot is. This is by far the most luxurious knot that I own. Whether it was one that I re-knotted or one that came with a knot in it already, this is my favorite. If you don't have one of these, do yourself a favor. If you're going to be re-knotting something, Get this 24 or whatever size millimeter super um, high density knot from Maggard's. $42. All right, so I am going to soak that brush. Let me get my water hot here. Bear with me.
not hot, but warm. I'm going to soak that while I tell you about what else I'm using in it. Okay, today's shave is brought to you by Fresh Ground Toasted um, Pecan... Uh, toasted... <laughs> toasted and Roasted... <laughs> oh my God, just take a gulp, Jill. <laughs> roasted Sweet Pecan... <laughs> oh my god, it's been one of those days. My sleep patterns are all screwed up. So, while that's doing that, I'm going to show you the razor and the blade I'm going to use. This is in my top two razors. Of course, that's the Christopher Bradley Carve Razor right there. And I already have it set with the B plate. I have the B and I have the C plate. And I don't know if you can see that. I don't know. Anyway, it's the B plate, trust me. And this is a brass razor. I love it. Uh, I wish I would have got the three and a half inch handle, but I still love this razor. Beautifully machined. I mean, the craftsmanship on this is crazy. I don't choose to get a patina on it and leave it wet or anything like that. So after I'm done, I uh, take a little nail brush like this and I put some uh, uh, disinfectant soap on it and I scrub everything down. So this is a three piece. Let's take that handle off. And this is another favorite of mine, and it is the blade that I'm putting in, and it's going to be the a feather blade. I've used this feather blade twice already, so this will be its third use. Let me mark that right now so I don't forget. Put a little circle there. Okay. And I'm going to plop that right in here on the top cap. And put the base plate on. And the B is facing me, so it's on properly. We know how I like to install razors improperly. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta make fun of yourself when you make errors, right? All right, so I'm sure this is 100% spot on as far as even. There's a little overhang, but that is my Christopher Bradley carve with the feather blade on the third use. So let me get this stuff out of the way. The soap I'm going to be using today is going to be Holy Cow's uh, Sheep or Rose uh, Concerto. And this has got citrus top notes, lime and floral, amber heart. It's got, uh, as a base, oak moss, musk, and patchouli. And this is a really sweet and woody smelling uh, scent. And it's got tallow and uh, donkey milk in it. And I will tell you that Holy Cow won the 2017 Artisan of the Year Award, and rightly so. So this is Talon. It does have, I do believe it does have, uh, yeah, donkey milk, cocoa butter, uh, shea butter, cocum butter, and lanolin. And it's a hops extract. So that's going to be the soap for the day. So I'm so excited to use this. Now, this is why I love it. Look at those gel tips. You can see the water <laughs> rinsing out. Look at those gel tips. And it's nice and gooey, like good gel tips. I mean, can you believe that? Totally awesome. Look how much water will come out of this knot. <laughs> so, you wet it again, and I'm just going to squeeze it about midway down. Now, I did, uh, let me wet my face again.
I had already done that with a hot um, wash ray. And I put just a tiny bit of water on top of it. There's not going to be much pre-shea from the bloom water. Just to open up that scent. Alright. Mess my hands off. Look at those gel tips. Oh my god. God, they are just, oh, this feels like a cloud on your face. This is the most luxurious bra brush knot I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I'm going to do it for about 25 seconds. Look at that. Unfreaking believable. Can you see how much soap <laughs> are in those tips? Oh, I can't wait to get this on my face. Now, I, I'm not going to bowl lather, I think, ever <laughs> with this brush. <laughs> and the reason being is I just want the total face feel through the whole thing. So I don't want to bowl lather with it. I want to feel it on my face. So right there, that's a pasty lather, of course, from how heavily I loaded it. And then I'll work whatever water was in there. And this is a good swirler. And you'll see that it's a good painter, too. So that's really tacky unlike myself. Alright, let's add some water to the tips of this brush. A little bit more from this side. Look at that. Work that water in. I love Holy Cow products. I only have two of their flavors, but boy oh boy do I like them. Look at that sheen that's already coming up on it. Nice flow through on this on this uh, knot. It's a lather hog, but it lets go of it. Okay, let's do some more water. Which it can take. More water. That lather's just soaked up in there. This is not very scritchy at all. So if you have a sensitive face, you can swirl. And those tips are super soft. I've never felt anything so luxurious. And for $42, you get a knot that puts it up in the luxury category. Um, I first saw the review of it on uh, Rudd Shave's show, and um, I was hooked. I had to get one. Well, I can add even more water. Translucent. So I can see down to my skin as I introduce that water. Let's add some more. 
Whoa, flying all over the place. Look at the sheen on that. And I think for that C40 uh, Ever Ready that I'm going to restore um, when the uh, Badger knot starts failing me, I'm going to get Maggard's 22 millimeter um, two band, not the super dense, but the two band Badger. And Rudd's rates that very high also. Okay, so let's warm up the razor and put this Christopher Bradley to work. So if you're new to the channel and you're wondering what the heck is going on, why is a woman shaving her face, please do me a favor if you haven't already done it, um, go to my video that says my, my first shaving video when I started back in August and please watch that one. Um, also there's a video I did a guest spot for West Coast Shaving, and I explain on that video also why women shave their face. Instead of being a Neanderthal and, you know, making comments, get in, what the hell am I watching? Or, like one of the viewers commented, uh, and this is all he put, and he put trans, question mark. So, uh, I'm assuming he meant, are you transsexual? But my reply, I said, no, this isn't an automotive channel. We discuss traditional wet shaving, so no, we won't be discussing transmissions. I said, but if you're a troll and making that tacky comment, the uh, troll exit doors to the right. So don't be a dick. You'd be surprised. Your sisters, your mothers, your girlfriends, your lovers are probably shaving their faces and you don't even realize it. And it's not something to be ashamed of. And on top of that, I've probably got better shaving skills than a lot of men. Nanner, nanner, nanner. So there. <laughs> oh, that brush is just too awesome. Wow, no shave. Of course, my problem area is right in here. All right, let's get another lather going here. Yeah, it's like a cloud on your face. And the second pass doesn't need as thick, but this is still thick. sheen on that. Clear the snot track. Clear the lips. And let's go this way. I 
This Christopher Bradley was so worth the, every penny I pe spent on it. As I said, it's in my top two razors. My top two razors are my Rockwell 6C and this Christopher Bradley card. Even with a feather blade in it, this carved razor is so smooth. Very comfortable shave. Sweet spot for the angle is right there, and it's like an autopilot razor maintains it through the shave. Okay, it does have some issues here, so let's dig into those. Well, not dig, but let's shave them. I can drown it. Okay, that's a nice slick layer this time. Just a little bit more water. Okay, let's do it this way now. Again, I'm using the B plate. down here to worry about. Great was residual, of course, on the holy cow. I love the sheep scent. And this is a very perfumey scent. To me. Okay. The last and final.
Okie doke. Let's go up. Ouch. Caught myself. I don't know if I'm going to draw blood or not. Any blood? No. So quiet tonight. Okay, let me have a feel around and see if there's any pickups I need to do. That knot is amazing. A little pricier than any knots that I have at 42, but I'm worth it. It's Beautiful knot. We're talking a knot that's equal to 100, 150, $200 knots that Maggart has priced right for us with not a lot of discretionary money to spend. Okay. I'm going to do like uh, Fuzzy does and I'm going to put some witch hazel for my pickup just a little bit down here You know me, I'm always chasing the BBS. And that's what I got. So hold on, I'm going to take my glasses off here and I'm going to rinse and I'll be right back. Okay, now the best part, the cold water rinse.
I had to take my earrings out. I was getting some irritation here. Okay, let us have a feel around after I clean the soap off my glasses. Okay, nice poche feel, but that's to be expected with Holy Cow. Beautiful. Total BBS. Great. Awesome. Now you rinse this brush out a little. Oh, I should have shown you how much was left in it still. Now, even though this is a 24 millimeter knot, it looks like a 30 millimeter. And when I do measure it from here to here, it does measure 30 millimeters because I've got it set uh, for just 50 millimeters high. So again, look at those gel tips. I'll be cleaning it out more. But um, after I clean mine out, I always do a very wide tooth comb out. Doesn't matter whether it's uh, synthetic or a natural hair like this. And dig in there. Very gently though, so you don't lose hairs. I haven't lost any hairs on this yet. But that's what I'll do, and then I'll do a rub out on my towel. So, post shave. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to do some more. There's rose petal. On there. I can feel those little beads of skin. Uh, I'll be taking a bath and, and putting some, uh, I'll sloth my face to get rid of those. Okay, that's that. Now, for the rest of my post shave, I wish people would pronounce it right. It's Chetillon Lux, Lux. And this particular one is Yuzu Rose and Patchouli, and it's a, a post-shave uh, salve. And they suggest that you take this and add some liquid of some kind to it. So, and it doesn't use much at all. Like, just that much. And I'm going to put some Barbado. I'm going to shake the Barbado up. This is also another good uh, aftershave lotion for uh, moisturizing and razor bump therapy. And I'm going to put a little bit of that in my palm along with that Chateau Loops salve. And oh, does that smell good. That salve ma matches the uh, Set notes and everything else that I used. All right, that was a smooth, very pleasant, very enjoyable, and very comfortable shave. Let me rinse my hands off. So, in conclusion, I used my uh, Christopher Bradley carve with the B plate with a um, feather blade on its third use. That was my razor of choice. And for the soap, I used Holy Cow's um, Sheper Rose Concerto. Great ingredients in that. And it lathered up, of course, great with this 24 millimeter super high density knot for maggot razors. Get you one. And I set it in this beautiful ruby red brush. All the reds and the turquoises and yellows in there. Really nice brush. And for post shave, 
I used witch hazel from Thayer's, the rose uh, petal, and then for uh, the rest of it, I took some Chateon Luxe Yuzu Patchouli and Rose, and I mixed it up with liquid Barbado. So that was a great shape. So I got some stuff coming up. I got a new razor to review. It was inexpensive. You may have seen some reviews already on it, and it's a Ming Shi, and I love the way they call it the Unscrew 3000S. So I'll have that to review. I will have, I went to CVS while I was out running errands the other day, and I picked up some of that Pure Gillette um, Soothing Shave Cream with Aloe. It's uh, free from uh, sulfates, parabens, dyes, and alcohol. So I'm going to try that. And I have two other Razor Rock soaps that I'm going to be uh, reviewing that I've not tried yet. So I think... I covered everything in that shave. So if you haven't already done it, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that little ding dong next to it and it'll let you know when I have a video up again, another new one. And if you feel like sharing it with buddies and friends and whatever, do that too. So I look forward to the next shave and I had fun with that shave. If you've got any questions, I always put my email down below. If there's something you'd like me to review, if I have it, I'll be more than willing to do it if it's in my den. So, on that note, oh, wait a minute, got to have a fragrance, and I've talked about it before, Fragrance Crafters, um, you can go in there and you can get five free samples, and um, I have a whole bunch of their regular size, one ounces and whatever, but this one is Because It's You, and this is awesome, this is awesome, it's a fruity florals, Raspberry, rose, absolute, and vanilla bean. So that goes along with the accords. It's a beautiful scent. He really does great knockoffs of uh, 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 items. And he, uses, he makes it perfumes, which are much more uh, potent in, in strength. And um, even if the original, you know... Uh, line doesn't carry it in the perfume he does have his in perfume and oils too so on that note i'm going to say bye bye and have a great rest of the week have a great weekend coming up and you know i love you guys bye <laughs>